Congratulations, you made it. You're in the right spot. A No Pulp webisode with Johnny Gdamwitz. I'm Calvin Cristoforo, and we're talking about those Gonzaga Bulldogs again. A team that just keeps finding a way to break America's heart, Johnny. A one-point loss to Loyola Marymount last week, 68-67. And look, I like the Lions more than the next guy, and you can ask the next guy, That's but this shit. is a really bad loss for Gonzaga. Breaking a 75-game home winning streak, a 93-game winning streak against unranked opponents and a 116 game winning streak against teams in the West Coast Conference not named BYU or the Gales of St. Mary. So my question to you, what is going on in Spokane? Well, first of all, that is a lot of streaks. A, a streaks. very impressive run for the Zags. But look, when Drew Timmy doesn't play well, this, this team doesn't really play well. Across their four losses this year, he's averaging just 16 points as opposed to 22 on the season average. When Timmy struggles, Gonzaga struggles. Not only that, against Loyola Marymount, they struggled to rebound, Calvin. Minus nine on the glass. Last time I checked, you want to win games, not only do you need to score more points, you need to get more rebounds, too. And that's true. And for a Gonzaga team that has been a number one seed the past couple of seasons, beating big-time opponents has been the squad's bugger. You look at the season slate, their losses to Texas, now ranked in the top 10, to now number one Purdue, at the time number six Baylor, and then my Lions of Loyola Marymount. They just haven't been able to get it done against the, the nation's top squads. So how do you expect them to fare in March? It's tough to predict with the nature of the top of the college basketball world right now and how much it changes. I think the ballpark is somewhere around a three seed. Look, when push comes to shove and we're getting to tournament time, whether it's a three seed, a two seed, if they end the regular season well, I don't think this is a squad that gets past the Sweet 16. I really don't. He got him as a three seed in Johnny's bracket, not going past the Sweet 16. I think they're going down the same road. They just can't beat Power 5 opponents come March. Well, that's all the time we have for you. For Johnny Gannamwitz, I'm Calvin Christopher. We will see you next time, and you can catch the full show coming up on YouTube.